Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Juan. I am Just One Reader and I am here joined by not one but two, my two little babies. Hello. This is Gonzalo right here. And this is Cash. His uh, Cash is the love of my life and he just happened to turn 10 years old yesterday. Yeah. So we are here for my summer TBR. Um, summer is when I really get to make up and compensate for all the not reading of the previous months. So in the summer, I just get a lot of absolutely free time. I don't do anything except sit around in my house in different locations in my house and just read. And I am capable of reading a lot of books in the summer. So I've decided to split this video into two parts. In the first part, I'm going to tell you the books that I have already chosen for my TBR. So this TBR should strictly not move. It should stay like this. Then after I show you those books, I'm gonna show you some options, around 15 to 20 options of books that have really called my attention and sparked my interest. And I'm gonna ask you guys for your help because you guys are the best and you always give me the best recommendations. And I'm gonna ask you to select maybe four, five, six options from that list um, for me to pick up during the summer. So this TBR is gonna be made of um, the books that I have already chosen and five books that you guys helped me choose. So without any further ado, let's get started. And this guy is getting quite ridiculous here. Verdad, mi amor. So first off, I really need to finish The Best American Short Stories, the 2014 edition edited by Jennifer Egan. So far, this anthology is amazing. Next up, I want to read a trilogy, and I figured if I'm going to read one trilogy over the summer, it needs to be this one because it's just, it's the one that really calls me right now, and everyone seems to love it. This is the Live Ship Traders trilogy by Robin Hobb, which um, I didn't, I wasn't able to get the really beautiful English editions, so I got them in Spanish. Um, the first book is Ship of Magic, followed by Ship of uh, the Mad Ship, and the last one is Ship of Destiny. Um, then I've got some standal. I think all the yeah, all the rest is made up of standalones. So we've got American Psycho by Bret Easton Ellis. I've never watched the movie or read the book. I have no idea what this is about. So um, I've heard that this is. Um, uh, one of uh, Stripped Coverlet's favorite books, so I really want to read it. Then I've got another booktube, very popular book. This is Kindred by Octavia E. Butler, which I think is some kind of science fiction, like historical science fiction. Then we've got another very popular book that everyone seems to love, A Constellation of Vile Phenomena by Anthony Mara. Then I'm gonna commit to reading A Brief History of Seven Killings, which is anything but brief. Um, it's a brick of a book. It's so hefty and it seems really daunting, but spectacular at the same time. And if I'm ever gonna read it, it's gonna be in the summer. Then I've got a Gothic mystery Victorian thriller, which is The Seance by John Harwood. Next, Under the Skin by Michel Faber, which I've heard great things about, and I really love his writing style. Then, Alvis Smith's Autumn, because Alvis Smith. Then, this is a book that I haven't really heard anyone talk about. I think I've heard maybe one booktuber talk about it, and they really loved it, and it sounds amazing. This is Miss Bunkle's book by D.E. Stevenson. Then I've got another recent popular book, which is Idaho by Emily Roscovich. Another one, and this was uh, Acacia's favorite book from last year. And so far, I think this is Mercedes's favorite book uh, of 2017 so far. This is The Clay Girl by Heather Tucker. Then we've got another book that was so huge a couple of years ago, but I've never read it. This is Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. 
Then a weird little novel, The Beautiful Bureaucrat by Helen Phillips. Then a classic, uh, yeah, sort of more uh, your typical um, literary fiction, classic, modern classic, James Baldwin's Giovanni's Room. Then another sort of uh, satirical classic, Vile Bodies by Evelyn Waugh. And finally, The Glister by John Burnside. This is, according to John Burnside himself, this is his favorite book that he has ever written. So those are the books that I strictly have to read, technically. I have to read them in the summer. Now I'm going to show you a lot of options and I'm going to ask you to choose a couple, not 10 or all of them, but just narrow it down so that I can pick some of these options to add them to my existing TBR. Also, a lot of these books are kind of underhyped, so I would love it if you could tell me something about them. Um, so option number one, The Luminaries by Eleanor Cadden. Option number two, Deathless by Catherine M. Valenti. Option number three, The Accidental by Ali Smith. Option number four, The Interestings by Meg Wolitzer. Option number five, The Trouble with Goats and Sheep by Joanna Cannon. Option number six, One of the Boys by Daniel McGarriel. Option seven, Signal to Noise by Silvia Moreno Garcia. Option eight, Fudoki by Kaij Johnson. This is kind of a little bit more underhyped than the rest. Option number, I completely lost track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Option nine, Zeroville by uh, Steve Erickson. Option 10, The Bookshop Book by Jen Campbell. Option 11, Duplex by Katherine Davis. This is quite underhyped, so if you know anything about this book, please let me know. Option number, what are we, 12? I don't know, I think it's 12. Disgrace by J.M. Coetzee. This also won the Man Brooker Prize in 1999. Option 13, Delicious Foods by James Hanian. And if you have never heard about this, just go over to the Poptimist channel and check out his review. You will want to pick it up today. Option 14, I'm really not paying attention to this video. Option Next, next option. The Other by Thomas Tryon. Next option, uh, what is this? I think this is uh, 16, 15, something. Um, next option, Smoke, Dine Valletta. Next, The Master and Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov. Next option, The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. Next option. Oh, this book is so big and so heavy. City and Fire by Garth Riss Kahlberg. Next option, second to last, The Bone Clocks by David Mitchell. And last option, this I am probably going to pick up because I'm really attracted to this author right now because I've recently read one of her short stories and I loved it to pieces. So. I really want to read this novel. Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. Guys, thanks for watching. I know those are a lot of options, but I'm really trusting you guys. I'm completely relying on you, and I'm looking forward to your suggestions. See you in the comments down below.